What's up, Divine Feminine Collective? Thank y'all for joining me for your energy reading. Give me a second. I've been trying to get this here sage popping. Y'all, I got to tell y'all what just happened. Because I done got a download already, honey. So, I had turned the camera, um, I set my iPad up. I looked in the, the camera. I was like, we cute. And uh, <laughs> I started singing that damn Beyonce. Uh, I look so good tonight. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. And I couldn't think of what the name of that song is, the rest of the words, none of it. So I was about to bypass it like, oh, you know, this is just me being silly ass me, right? Then I saw 411 on my phone i said oh shit it's a message in that song so then i i put the words that i could remember in google right and uh, uh flawless so then i was led i said oh i see what kind of time the, the uh feminine's on so i um and no actually i saw it and um i saw myself i said what i said about being cute and then I was like, oh, damn, I'm being led to pull from the Minara um, deck, right? So it's the um, Minara Erotic Oracle deck. I have been very reluctant to use this deck on the channel because, I mean, my shit not monetized, no way. But I don't want to do the reading and then, like, say YouTube decide, you know, because of the nudity, they don't want to show it or whatever. Like, I, I don't want no drama. Um, but I'm about to do it anyway. We're about to see. Because I'm a rebel with a cause. You hear me? But, um, so I reach for the deck. I go get the deck off the shelf. Come back and see 411. And I was like, oh, shit, it's a message in the song. Let me look it up. So I look it up and I discover that it's Flawless by Beyonce. So, is that how y'all, that's how y'all feeling? That's how we feeling out here? I know that's how I'm feeling, honey. You can't tell me shit about me these days. Um... I hope that's how we feel because you know as women folk like y'all my babies the masculine they my babies too uh but no but because you know they say if you say but behind something you're negating what you just said and <laughs> the masculines are my babies period the feminines like nobody knows the feminine experience like us women folk don't nobody know what we go through like us you know what i'm saying and so I know as a divine feminine energy how we will pick ourselves apart. You hear me? And we couldn't have we could have done all of the work, all of the things to build our steam, to affirm ourselves, to dress it up and make it look sweet, you know what I'm saying? Dress it up and make it real form like future say, all of that. And still like hormonally just feel like, ugh, oh my God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I look like shit today. So if y'all feeling flawless, kudos. I applaud that. I'm for it. I'm feeling flawless. Scars, bumps, <laughs> no makeup, nails fucked up, I need a feeling, all of the things. I'm still that girl. You still that girl. So I love this for us. That even further like coincides with why i was led to pull from the minara deck because i have been very apprehensive about using this deck but today today baby because it's some kind of erotic vulnerable sexy energy coming through for y'all and we're gonna tap into it um i actually meant to pull from the gateway of light oracle before i press play but all things happen in divine timing, right? So, it wasn't meant to happen that way. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get into uh, the divine feminine energy. If I got any divine masculines, uh, cross rock. Uh, what's the lady? It's some lady on her channel. She calls cross, cross watching, crotch watching. So, if y'all crotch watching, hey, welcome. <laughs> uh, so, we're going to tap in. Clear clear the energy of the deck and see what message the divine wants me to bring forth as a vessel of love and light for the divine feminine 
collective, my flawless sisters. Y'all come here, fill out. There you go. Ooh, the masculine's got this same card, yo. All right. I've been feeling a lot of integration, too. I've been feeling like the masculines and the feminines, you damn near can't tell their energy apart at this point in the journey because they're so in alignment. There's more balance. That yin and yang is coming together. So I'm not surprised that I'm getting a similar message in the feminine uh, reading that I'm getting, that I got in the uh, masculine energy reading. But we got Akashic Records, Clearing Old Stories, Releasing Past Lives, and Freedom. Yo, we letting that old shit go. For some of y'all, y'all are getting even, diving even deeper and not only releasing the narratives of the past in your, in your, in this 3D reality, just saw 611 and how you've shown up in relationships, how those relationships have left you failing that baggage, that emotional baggage that you may have been carrying in this lifetime. But y'all doing the work. I know I have, to explore the Akashic records and explore how my past lives have been contributing to how I show up in this lifetime and healing some of that shit too. Because that is the Akashic records. That's that's what it serves. That's the purpose that it serves. It's like this big library of all of our lifetimes. Those lifetimes where we were aliens and dogs and cats and birds <laughs> and trees and other living things we were white and we were men and we were kids who didn't live to see uh our teenage years we passed away from traumatic experiences we were married and got divorced we were in abusive relationships like in past lives you could have lived totally different lives than the ones that you're living i just saw 7-eleven which is very symbolic of doing that deep spiritual work to explore your akashic records and sometimes when you're exploring your Akashic records, you find that a lot of the people that you align with in this lifetime are people that you've aligned with in other lifetimes. And so especially if you um, resonate with the Twin Flame journey, that's very well somebody whom you connected with in some way in another lifetime. And y'all souls found each other in this lifetime so y'all can do that shit over. So you can get that cosmic, divinely led and inspired, orchestrated do-over to overcome obstacles and live out a divine purpose and enjoy abundance. Just saw eight. God got his hand all in the plan to unfold abundance for um, you and possibly a, a counterpart. And it's freeing. It's liberating. I had a dream the other day that um, there was an abandoned car. And I assume it was my car, but it was just out like behind a building or something. And when I got in the car to gather my things, it was all kinds of stuff, documents that had my name on it and shit and a suitcase. And at first, I was trying to gather the stuff and put it all in the suitcase so that I could take it with me, right? And it, at some point, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care if people see these documents with my name on it, important information, my address, whatever. I don't care. I just want to move forward free of all of this shit. Letting them old narratives, old baggage, all of that, just leaving it there. I'm protected. I'm just leave it here. Just saw 911. As soon as I said, I'm protected. Cutting those cords to those past narratives. So, shut, no wonder y'all feeling flawless, sexy, and erotic, and all of the things. Doing that work to tap more into what was keeping you from showing up as a more sensual, confident being. You, you, you tapping into your, your past lives, you tapping into these old narratives that have been weighing you down and keeping your heart um, shielded from receiving love of a, a certain magnitude, you know what I'm saying? And ready to move forward, like liberated and free from all of that shit. So I love that for us. And 
I'm experiencing, as I'm sitting here talking to y'all out of nowhere, some pain in my back. And pain in the back area as well as the shoulders is often symbolic of having carried a lot of shit that wasn't yours. Or shit that was outdated just out 10, 10. We closing them cycles. Tens represent closing out uh, old cycles and beginning new ones. Because we're closing out them cycles of carrying all that shit with us from relationship to relationship. To experience from experience to experience. And that's something worth celebrating, y'all. So, in one of these readers, I said something about e, um, Erica Badu's bag lady. Y'all listen to me, huh? Because <laughs> we can't catch the bus. We can't hurry up with all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Niggas see you coming. They just take out running from you. It's true. Oh, yes, they do. One day, he gon' say, you crowd in my space. One day, he gon' say, you crowd in my space. He ain't gon' say that. Just our 11 11. Because you come in with pure, flawless, diamond, divine goddess energy. You're not bringing all that old shit. It's a new day new chapters for us this is dope as fuck yo i feel like i need like a glass of wine or something you know what i'm saying and when i have red wine i really be on my sophisticated rich auntie shit <laughs> it could be the cheap shit even though i do like uh every now and then a merlot you know what i'm saying but something about red wine just give me my auntie vibes you know what i'm saying y'all giving me rich auntie vibes right now i feel like i need me a glass of um red wine but the other card that came out is gate uh, gaia gateway activation if you're not familiar with this shocker your gaia gateway is i'm trying to remember i think it's one of it's one of the lower chakras and I know that um, you can work with smoky quartz when your Gaia gateway has been activated. Um, but it's that chakra that helps you draw from the wisdom of Mother Earth. And also uh, points to the significance of being in this world but not of this world. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us as high priestesses, as medicine women, um, or whatever you classify yourself as, um, we tap into the higher realms and we work with our higher chakras a lot. Um, and so we spend a lot of time in solitude and meditation and uh, working with our third eye and our crown chakra and things of that nature. But we're also needing to see and experience the significance of the fact that we are right here on, on earth at this very point in time um, in the narrative. You know what I'm saying? And we're in, to enjoy the fullness of that as well uh, through our learning experiences, wisdom transmissions, and earth intelligence. What this also says is for a lot of you, the work that you're doing, you're drawing wisdom and knowledge from past experiences that are going to help you along your journey as you move forward, um, especially coupled with Akashic Records. If you've ever had a dream and you were like in a big ass library or whatever, nine times out of 10, you will be tapping into your Akashic records. Um, I had an Akashic record reading when I was in New Orleans one time. I was treating myself to like a little spa day and they had a salon, which actually I would love to do this myself, but they had a salon called Medusa's Lair. I don't know if it's still open. I follow them on social media, so I know <clears throat> they still got something going on but last i knew they moved but um i can't think of her name the nice lady who did my reading my akashic uh, records reading she started crying before she could even get into the reading good and y'all as a high priestess i already knew what it was that she was about to say to me and i had no clue like i didn't have no context clues or she just was crying. I was like, hey, what's wrong? She's like, I don't really feel qualified to have this conversation with you. And I was like, if it's going to be tugging on your energy that tough, don't worry about it. I got a feeling I know what you're about to say. And she was like, I see you on a boat. She said, you got like red clay in your hair. Your hair is like red, which is very symbolic of the Maasai tribe from Africa. They wear like red clay in their hair. It looks like what I got going on right now. Uh, kind of 
and she said you got two kids with you and y'all jump off of a um ship uh during the transatlantic slave trade i knew what she was about to say before she said it my intuition told me it's something about um me being on a uh, uh, a boat during the transatlantic slave trade because it kind of coincided with this fear of swimming i've be, uh, been exploring too uh, and so that even further made that make sense for me um but she said you jumped you and your babies y'all jumped she was crying hysterically y'all like she felt that shit and i was like it's okay i said i'm i'm okay i said that resonates with me i i have a hard time watching even though I'm, I'm a history nut i have a hard time watching slave movies especially when it gets to that part so like i'm a star hot ass mess i can't because in another lifetime i've had that experience but i chose to jump i said fuck that when old boy said that part on um black panther about uh him jumping uh killmonger i felt that shit in my soul <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i say all of that to say it's so much important information lying within your akashic records about the life that you are living right now that will help make sense of that and what she told me was and this was years ago but it was after i had seen black panther like 12 times um was that that is the lifetime that's most influencing my lifetime this lifetime and that just like i made that huge jump then uh for the sake of honoring what is valuable to me which is my freedom i am to do the same now and that is why i have been having a struggle to apply for a job um because that's the same conviction that i have about my passion my purpose and what it means to be sovereign and free if y'all have not checked out that divine feminine reading that i did about uh tapping more into your sensuality and sovereignty and it was something else go back and watch it because if any of this is resonating um that reading will resonate with you as well but yeah we got akashic records and Ga gaia gateway activation so make sure that you're being grounded that you're tapping into your gaia gateway chakra and that you are um learning from what you've gone through you know what i'm saying so that you don't have to take that baggage uh of the pain and the trauma and the hurt and getting into another connection or relationship and you don't trust them based off of some shit that somebody else did and shit like that now granted you go through things so that you can learn to draw uh boundaries and how you can move forward but just make sure you're not taking nothing out on somebody that ain't necessarily uh pertinent to the connection that you're currently in or going to be in you know what I'm saying? Because we hard on these masculines, but we have a responsibility to make sure that we're healthy and whole before we get into these uh, divine unions as well. You know what I'm saying? So that plays a major part in the Gaia Gateway activation. At the top of the deck, we have Arcturian light codes, evolutionary downloads, recalling your power, oh, flawless ass, future thinking having a very expansive mindset thinking about moving forward like i said leaving all that old shit behind having evolutionary downloads meaning shit coming full circle and you ready to advance and have more innovative ideas like getting into a new career or taking up something else to study moving away from where you currently um are are uh stationed or um just moving your life in a different tra trajectory that is progressive and recalling your power yes i love this because for many of us tapping into the akashic records in our past lives is the exact thing that we're needing to do to recall our power we talk shit about these men but they don't stand a chance as long as we not straight if we haven't done the work to heal and set that example and be the partner who walks alongside them in our power, they ain't going to be able to walk in theirs. And that's just true tea, because we lead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We lead in terms of uh, 
the feminine energy, intuition, emotion, um, connecting with the divine. Of course, you want your partner to have their own relationship with the divine. But nine times out of ten, they're going to come to the table leading in a masculine way, protecting and, and, and uh, providing, even if that provision is not necessarily financial. Because I'm one of them people that believe you can have a successful relationship if you make more coin than your man. You can it ain't just about the money. That's that's one of those things that the matrix has um, taught us about uh, the dynamics between uh, masculines and feminines. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, do this shit how you want to do it. Whatever works for you and your counterpart or your union. But these Arcturian light codes are coming in from the Arcturians to help us to uh, evolve, to grow, to recall our power from across dimensions, lifetimes, time, and space. Nothing can keep us from standing in our power and doing the work that we came here in this lifetime to do. So at the bottom of the deck, if you're not familiar with the Octorians, the Octorians are, a, a, if I'm not mistaken, like a star family, a galactic uh, tribe. Matter of fact, I'm going to read the message. I've been working with their energy a bit because when I pull cards like this and shit like this come up for me, I go straight to YouTube and find the light language or the light codes or the meditation videos or whatever. And I tap into their energy and I research what that shit means. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the last thing I want to do on my spiritual journey is some of the things that I did on my religious journey of blindly following shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what's really popping. And not necessarily from a logical standpoint. Shit got to resonate with me from in my heart space. But it said, Arcturus is a giant red star. I was right. Among the brightest stars seen from the northern hemisphere. It is around 25 times larger than our sun and can be found just beyond the Big Dipper. Many believe that there are light beings living on a blue planet orbiting Arcturus who are in the fifth or an even higher dimension. Some think they could be a prototype for what is possible on planet Earth. They are described as blue beings. Why? One of the songs I've been channeling before I move on is that damn uh, for the divine feminist or the divine, how the divine masculine, how they feel about each other, really. Because some of these songs, they be, um, it be uh, how they mutually feel. Again, the energies of masculine and feminine are starting to come so in alignment that they're not separate. A lot of the messages are similar or the same. Uh, but Andre 3000's prototype. I think that you're the one. But if not, you are the prototype. We'll tiptoe to the sun. And do things I know you like. I think I'm in love again. Thank you, Smelly Mudge. Now, I know y'all know that song. If you don't know what that song is, go back to bed. Go back to bed, wake up, start over. We're going to start the whole day over. And you're going to play that song first and foremost and get more familiar with Andre 3000. But it says that these blue beings... When they appear to those who can see them clairvoyantly, they are often blue-skinned or emanating blue light in their auric field. The Arcturian race are here to help those on Earth who feel called to facilitate healing and to move beyond draconian and patriarchal ways of being. The future is female, y'all. Period. The patriarchy will fall. God will have it to be so. Um, that's why we're rising up and that's why it's important that we know our rightful place as empresses and queens, you know what I'm saying, as as um, divine, sovereign, sensual, and empathic, intuitive uh, beings as leaders, you know what I'm saying, no longer under some man's foot being his maid, mattress, or mule. No, absolutely not. They guide us to realize that we have a great opportunity to evolve beyond these limited states. And if we don't, we'll be stuck on a karmic wheel for thousands of years before we get our next opportunity. If you feel called to the Octorians or this information, it could indicate a past 
future incarnation on the Arcturian planet or that you have Arcturian gods working with you. So it says to connect with the Arcturians, imagine yourself enveloped in a golden orange and blue light, then say, great blue beings of the Arcturian race, thank you for downloading into my frequency forward thinking energies that will support my evolution for many of us that's that leaving that baggage behind those uh, negative patterns behind toxic feminine ways we leaving that behind them old narratives that male bashing and he did this and she did that we're not bringing that shit into because we we approach a spring which is the astro astrological um new year we're not bringing that shit into spring when we making room for things to blossom in our lives we just ain't so it says you can evolve into a greater state of being now. This begins with how you approach even the most mundane task in your own little universe. Show up in ways that you've never showed up before. Instead of checking out of this planet, it's time to check in. Instead of feeling that life is happening to you, realize that you have a huge part to play. Do not take for granted your position as a divine feminine energy is so much power in being a divine feminine recall your power realize that you are a part of the evolution of humanity and it's time to become the leader that you were born to be it doesn't matter if you're leading yourself or a larger group the key is to create more loving ways of doing things under the ideas or thoughts that you've been having recently if you've been hearing high-pitched noises, seeing flickers of light, or sensing that you are being visited by beings in your sleep, know that you are receiving downloads from heaven and the Arcturians are with you. Call on their support. Call the whole team in. Call the squad, gang, gang, all the people, your ancestors, your spirit guides, Father God, Mother Earth, everybody, the Arcturians, the Syrians, all the people. Call, it to call your team a light in to help you carry your cross. Because, oh, I'm supposed to bring that goddamn book in here. I'm going to go get it. Mary Magdalene. We're going to close with something from the gospel of um, Mary Magdalene. Something went up in my nose, child. Hold on. <coughs> what is that about? See, I'm having a whole breakdown. Because something done went in my nose. Anywho. Bottom of the deck, we have... We're going to get back on that Mary Magdalene tip. Because she's very important to this narrative that is unfolding. Shambhala initiations. Retreating to recharge. recharge trusting in the process dharma y'all going on vacation y'all getting some rest you going to a little retreat so you can get yourself together before you you move into this next chapter what's going on lord i had a whole little interference shambhala initiations this is that energy of rest and relaxation uh retreat going on vacation and taking time out for some of you you may be needing to rest your throat chakra and just have you a little silent retreat at the house and just chill and, and let your throat chakra rest because it's going to be some instances coming up where you're going to have some important shit you need to say or you just need to, to recharge your battery and recoup for whatever god has in store for you as you move forward on your journey but whatever the case at the bottom of the deck trust the process chill be in your divine feminine energy and be receptive. People offering to help you, gifts, giving you things. You know Valentine's Day coming up. I don't really fuck with holidays, but I like Valentine's Day. And not because it's heavily marketed to women. Because I feel like you should do for your man or your Valentine, your crush, whoever. You should, you know, do something for them for Valentine's Day uh, as well, if they're worthy, of course. But, um... I just love love. I love love. And I actually like the history of Valentine. Like, St. Valentine was a martyr. He, you know what I'm saying? He did work for the good and, um, and, um, 
<clears throat> was a champion of love. It ain't one of them situations like Thanksgiving where they celebrate and going killing up a whole bunch of innocent people and stealing their land and shit. Or like uh, Christmas with this whole Santa Claus shit that was made up by Coca Cola. Like, no, you know, it ain't about, um, of course, they got their mar greedy marketing hands all in it as well. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's about love. I love the love. You know what I'm saying? I pray that people get past the superficial shit when it comes to love. But as long as people loving and, and, and ain't fighting, <laughs> I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? And so you have the um, Shambhala initiation, which uh, speaks of the need for or the coming in of some opportunity to chill. You know what I'm saying? So I love that for y'all. And I'm going to pull from... The archetype cards, they screaming at me. Nope, I'm not, not, not yet. I'm not gonna pull from the archetype cards yet. I'm gonna pull from the Minara. I need to look up to see what, what Minara means. I have no clue. But it's the Chakra Eros and Astrology Minara Erotic Oracle. Um. So yeah, we gonna see what these naked people talking about. Spirit, please clarify this message for the divine feminine collective. And please don't let what just happened to my nose happen again. That was annoying. Ugh. Okay. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Truth come to light. Number nine, the truth behind illusion. My girl got that leg out. She giving a little strip tease, little, little, little peek, you know what I'm saying, at the goods. And it's like, oh, she she very much giving a tantric tease vibe. You know what I'm saying? With the Tina Turner leg out. Truth coming to light. Something is being revealed. I love this because whatever been in the dark, it can't stay for long when the light is around. Y'all check out Soul Food Sundays because um, that's the message of this month. Soul Food Sundays, the significance of the light. I'm going to read the message of truth behind the illusion after we see what's at the top at the bottom of the deck because now I'm being nosy. So y'all leaving shit in the past. You learning what you need to learn. You know, taking away the meat, leaving the bones and moving forward with the goodies that you've taken from your past experiences leaving that other shit for whoever to do whatever with and you're ready to move forward innovative evolutionary calling your power back in for many of you it's your sensual power you know what i'm saying your ability to, just, to step out you know what i'm saying and to to really like embody that feminine energy. So I don't know if you know y'all need to go get you some lace or some satins or some sequins. I like all the the glam shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm that type of girl. I like shiny things. Um, I could be real extra in that way. But getting more comfortable with that type of shit. Make sure you put your soft fabrics on, you know. Um speaking of which, y'all birth a hole matter of fact not one hole but two in my robe i love this robe because it's comfortable and i actually look cute in it you know what i'm saying but apparently it's time to pass it on because like the more i've been working with oshun i have been learning like it as part of knowing my worth is not holding on to anything that is not worthy of the quality of life i'm meant to live right if it's not in alignment with quality um and so like if i have clothes that have a little hole in them workout pants panties anything the, the moment i see the hole i throw it away and that is a part that's like a sacred practice for me it's part of me honoring um that knowingness within me that i deserve the best um and that holding on to those things is like me holding on to poverty consciousness I only been holding on to this robe since I uh got the two holes in them because my other robe has um it's real thin and I gotta find it my summer robe. But as soon as I find my summer robe, this one gonna go in the garbage. So 
for those of you who've been watching these videos and like I'm sick of seeing that bitch in these robes congratulations <laughs> but I ain't gonna do nothing but get another one and so don't get too excited okay <laughs> but I'm not gonna keep walking around in this road with the two holes in it and the way, the way I got a hole in it was a fucking incense I walked past an incense and it uh hit the robe and put a hole in it and I thought it was just one but it was two so I'm hella clumsy but anyway top of the deck the flow of inspiration this is us, y'all. I told you we have a responsibility to inspire as we step out bold and vulnerable. These women are butt naked, two of them. And for many of you, either you're in a same-sex relationship and this speaks to your connection or these two women is symbolic of the masculines getting more in touch with their feminine energy, joining you in your feminine energy. And that is the flow of inspiration that like the infinity symbol just flows back and forth to one another. Y'all build each other up. You know what I'm saying? Encourage and support one another. Ride or fucking die. I love this for us, represented by the number 12, which breaks down to a three. And threes are all about alignment. I told y'all, the masculines and the feminines are getting more and more in alignment. And as a result of that, you feeling like a flower in the spring, baby. I can't make this up. This is bringing major change, represented by the number five. A girl is, as my great-grandmama used to say, footloose and fancy free out here. She got up, she like neatly shaved down there. She laid out in the garden with the flowers. She got one boob covered up and one that's ain't. She just loose. She free. She's no longer held down by the shit that was holding her back or holding her captive and keeping her from being able to feel safe and secure about expressing her true authentic self. All because the truth of illusion has come to light. She's starting to be able to see the sun peeping through the clouds. The truth coming through where there was once confusion or intentionally illusion in some situation. Probably with a divine masculine. Because they doing their work to be able to have the courage and, and bring forth the truth. And don't y'all be too hard on them because they don't know what they don't know. Now, when they know better, they supposed to do better. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you start to holding them accountable for their actions and shit but a lot of the stuff up to this point on the journey if you've been resonating with um the messages that's been coming along coming through in these readings they didn't know no better but they've they've been doing their work and that is something worth celebrating and that's why y'all don't show up uh to your situations in a robe like this okay <laughs> put your best foot forward or just don't wear nothing. They appreciate that type of thing, too, for what I heard. I be keeping my ear to the street, even though I don't be involved. So, that's the message coming through from the Minara. Um, and that is dope. I actually am now going to pull from the archetypes. And then, we're going to pull from the um, playlist oracle. And... They video was in their hour, so y'all might be about that long too. Cause I feel like when I do it any other way, I feel like I'm cheating one, one part of the collective. So, spirit, please clarify the message that's coming forward for the divine feminine collective at this time. Shout out to y'all being an inspiration, calling your power back, destroying strongholds, addictions toxic patterns releasing what is potentially destructive and preparing for what new life spring like a flower in the spring that is new life okay it was something else oh this octorian like hoes future thinking preparing for new life it's some shit that used to fly back then. Some ways we used to show up back then. Some shit we were scared to do back then. Oh, we ain't playing. 
heat because we've destroyed those strongholds we've broken generational curses we've lifted our self-esteem we've lifted ourselves up out of graves yo that we dug for ourselves that our, uh, some of our ancestors dug for us you best believe not all of your ancestors had your best interests in mind but those who did they're helping you to be a destroyer it's bigger than you you destroying shit for other um other uh people in your lineage lineage people that ain't even in your lineage look at me i do this shit on youtube it's random people that watch these videos i don't know these people but i do it for them you know what i'm saying something they may not resonate with everything that i say but something gonna be said they're gonna be able to take away from it and it's gonna affect them in the long term a destroyer and when you destroy something you tear it down to the foundation to be built over stronger in truth and in in um in truth and honor you know what i'm saying so shout out to us for being destroyers in our lives and that inspiring others to do the same in their lives because it's a um volcanic effect at the point where you got sick and tired of the dumb shit at some point way back when look at what that happened a domino effect a catalyst you've been a catalyst and a light all that fire i'm sensing a lot of passion coming through too and then god tapping into your god-like energy and your god body i love that for us benevolence and compassion recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others because you are a limitless being you don't pull from them akashic records you no longer putting timelines and constraints on situations you just letting god have god's way and stepping forward in your goddess energy um worthy of stepping forward with a god beside you because of the god within you this shit is dope just like jesus and mary magdalene listen that relationship as i'm learning more about her if you have not watched the movie mary magdalene is one of my faves i love that movie it helped me to understand her journey so much better than how it's been purported to us because you know they real life be downplaying my girl and her part in the um the jesus story that was his gal his old lady as they say and she was his confidant, his best friend, his ride or die. The goddess to his God. So, at the top of the deck, you have artists expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. Y'all, a part of these shifts that you've been making, this evolutionary energy, this future thinking, this letting go of the past is making more room for creative energy in your life. And as a result of your creative output up to this point, you've inspired people, especially your divine masculine, to do the same in his life or their life. Because again, this is not gender specific. It could be a, a female. Um, but yeah, you're going to be reaping the rewards of your hard work. That's why you got this Shambhala uh, initiation here. Time to rest not be so bogged down by the everyday ins and outs responsibilities duties y'all y'all about overdue for a break some sunshine some some crystal clear water um sit on a patio and have you a little margarita or something you know what i'm saying because y'all been putting in that work i know i have dedicated being vulnerable and expressing yourself creatively as a gift to the collective to help people get through what they've been going through. You know, it's a lot going on out here. Newsflash, it's going to be more. <laughs> it's going to be wars and, and rumors of wars and all the shit that the word talk about. You know what I'm saying? And that's why as light workers and divine feminists, the work that we do is so important. The work that the divine masculines do is important as well because they are to hold space, provide and protect the, the light of the divine feminine as well as bring forth their light but this ain't they readings we ain't talking about them we talking about us right at the bottom of the deck you have samaritan refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore sometimes on this journey 
That's exactly what happens. You encounter people who, under any other circumstances, you be like, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> but because of your God-like destroyer uh, capacity, you help them anyway. Of course, giving from your overflow and not from an empty cup. But guess what? When you do that, God will send you Samaritans, people to help you in so many different ways. And do not take for granted that you can end up in a situation where you need the help. You know what I'm saying? So that's dope. So be mindful of like gifts and opportunities uh, coming forward uh, for y'all as a result of work that you've done on yourself and that you've also put out into the collective some kind of way. That's dope. I'm going to pull from the... Um, Playlist Oracle. Here, please clarify this message for the Divine Feminine Collective with a flawless ass. Destroying all those um, ways that they would pick themselves apart and let other people diminish and demean. Yeah, we ain't doing that. We pulling up exactly as we are. And that's something that came up in the um the Divine Mask in a reading, the song uh by Bruno Mars, You're Amazing, just the way you are. I think that uh came out in reverse though. And it was the, the energy that was coming through for me was like the masculine is um loving the or having to learn to love and appreciate the feminine for who she is, but then you got the, the peanut gallery got something to say or being worried about what other people got to say or because the, the feminine is different in some way. I know I am. I rock around with crystals in my panties, baby. I'm very different. <laughs> I'm very different. I'm on all kinds of different shit, okay? So whoever get with me, whoever get with you, you know what I'm saying, they're going to have to accept you for who you are and what you come with. But we're all different. The masculines, they different as a motherfucker too. And that's been part of the journey for them to have to come to accept that about themselves. But I've been talking to a lot of women who struggle with, because they're different, being able to like date and connect with people. If you're not comfortable with how different you are, you probably shouldn't be dating. You, sh you shouldn't even be in the pool, in the dating pool. You know what I'm saying? I heard it's pissing that anyway. <laughs> Work on you. Work on getting comfortable with your quirks. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's see what lyrics speak to the Divine Feminine experience. Okay, them two wanted to come on out, honey. Oh, my God. They came out in reverse. Let me make sure I ain't got this dick in reverse. It wouldn't. And this song, oh, no, this is a Leah song, but it ain't the same song that came out in the mask. I was about to say it was. Aaliyah, I miss you. It's been too long and I'm lost without you. What am I going to do? Said I've been needing you, wanting you. Wondering if you're the same and who's been with you. Is your heart still mine? I want to cry sometimes. I miss you. I feel like this is coming out in the feminine's reading because the feminists miss the masculines too. Because for a lot of y'all, you've either met them in this lifetime or you just feel like it's something coming in for you. And when you meet this person, it's going to be like, damn, where you been? You know, what's that song? Uh, what's it, Johnny Taylor? Where you been all of my life? Tell me where you have been hiding. I've been searching for someone like you that I can share my life with. How did you get out of my dreams? How did heaven lose you? It may be that, you know what I'm saying? You recognize that soul from another lifetime when you meet them. Or this is somebody that you've met already and you miss their energy too. You miss y'all's connection um, too. But it being in reverse is telling me this is how they feel. It's been too long and I'm lost without you. They need your inspiration. They need your nurturing energy. They need your emotional stability and comfort the way Jesus needed Mary Magdalene. I was telling the masculines how the, uh, I think I was telling the masculines, or either it was the Soul Food Sunday's message, but I was talking about how uh, the disciples was hot. 
they was mad because Mary was coming back telling them stuff that Jesus had said and told her to say. And they like, he, he ain't tell her that. He don't talk like that. He don't he ain't tell us that. Of course he did. <laughs> y'all don't rub his hair and rub his neck and rub his thigh while he's talking. Y'all don't hold his hand. Y'all don't look him in the eye and let him know if it's a, it's a safe space. Of course he did. So, yeah, they miss y'all. And y'all missing them. Said, I've been needing you, wanting you, wondering if you're the same and who's been with you. What you got going on over there? You dating? You seeing somebody? You better not. You better be waiting on me. That's how they feeling. <laughs> Is your heart still mine? I want to cry sometimes. I miss you. Shout out to Aaliyah. And then you got <clears throat> Lil John and the East Side Boys, Usher and Ludacris, lovers and friends. And it came out in reverse as well. Again, this is the masculine showing up in y'all read them. Sometimes I want to be your lover. Sometimes I want to be your friend. Sometimes I want to hug you, hold hands, slow dance while the record spins. Open up your heart because you said I made you feel so comfortable. Used to play back then, now you all grown up like Rudy Huxtable. I could be your bud. You could beat me up. Play fight in the dark when we both make up. I do anything just to feel your bud. Why you got me so messed up? I don't know, but you got to stop tripping. Turn around. Damn, why didn't put the rest of the song? That's the sexy part right there and get this whipping or something. He say the sexy part after that, but it stops at, I don't know, but you got to stop tripping. Lovers and friends. So some of y'all probably got a friend out there that want to be more than friends. And that is the truth behind the illusion. So don't be surprised they get a little flirty, start showing a little leg quote-unquote, <laughs> to let you know they're looking at you as more than a friend. Mm -hmm. They get a little more vulnerable because nudity in, in uh, tarot represents vulnerability. Um, but somebody want to be, sometimes they want to be your lover, sometimes they just want to be friends, old confused dad. Sometimes they want to hug, hold hands, slow dance while the record spins, open up your car heart because you said i made you feel so comfortable i told y'all there's a level of comfort uh here with these two two feminine energies butt ass naked titty to titty <laughs> laid up lay up that's that level of comfort and vulnerability cultivated in this connection it could be somebody you've been knowing since childhood Used to play back then. Now you all grown up like Rudy Huxtable. And that is so funny because that's who people used to say I look like. And I literally got a picture of me as a little girl where I agree I looked it like her ass. As a matter of fact, I used to date a guy that used to call me Rudy. He used to call me Young Rudy because he said I look like Rudy Huxtable. And this person wants to be your bud. The bud. You know, bud was Rudy's best friend that had a crush on Rudy. Want to be her bud. They want to be the bud to your Rudy. Play fight in the dark. Then we both make up. Then somebody just want to have that playful, cool, you know, I like you, you like me. Until I guess until they make up their mind. You know what I'm saying? Type of energy. And ain't nothing wrong with that. You ain't got to go straight into the situation. Y'all don't be like me. <laughs> what uh, Erica Badu say? I'm a recovering undercover over lover. Baby, when I tell you, it ain't all my fault, but it's partially my fault getting in relationships and at the gate, like, we together. We go together real bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm at a point now where I just want to have fun. I don't want to date a bunch of people and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to get into nothing too serious, too quick, um, especially if me and the person ain't on the same page about moving faster. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything got to be in alignment. Because ultimately, it's God's time and then I'm on. God say go, she, we can go to Vegas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm not so hell bent on everything got to be so concrete right out the gate. It's healthy to just get to know each other, have fun, play like Rudy and Bud. You know what I'm saying? So, you got that energy coming through of course we got something at the top of the dick what i do with the dick oh there you go 
Like I said, that came out in reverse. So it's giving masculine coming through in a reading. This one, okay, I just picked it up. Uh, what you call? Big pun. Still not a player. I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. Big Punisher still got what you're looking for. For my thug niggas. For my thug niggas. For my thugs. I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. All right. Okay. Confirming the crush. And this is somebody who, again, want to come through with their vulnerability, has tapped more into their feminine energy, and they tired of being for the screeds. And I ain't mad at it because the street, I told y'all, that date pool, I heard. <laughs> Word on the street is, it's pissing it. It's all kind of karmic energies and low vibrational shit going on out here in these streets. So you got still not a player at the top of the deck. And it's probably somebody got some thug tendencies. Some thug ways. Because they got the for my thug niggas part in here. That's big for somebody from the streets to not want to be a player, honey. Because that's what they told us is the definition of being a man. Racking up women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, I'd have had her, I'd have had her, I'd have had her. You know what I'm saying? I'd have ran through that one and that one and that one. So for this person to be like, yeah, that shit actually ain't cute no more. I'm straight. That's kind of cool. I fuck with that. Bottom of the deck. Jagged edge, promise. Nothing is promised to me and you. So why will we let this thing go? And baby, I promise that I'll stay true. Don't let nobody say it ain't so. And baby, I promise that I will never leave and everything will be alright. I promise these things to you. Girl, just believe. I promise. Oh my God! Feminist, this is so dope. This is somebody that wants to make a commitment. Even if it's not marriage or engagement. This is somebody that don't want to let you go. And in the um masculine reading, the car uh I don't want to lose you or something like that came out. You know what I'm saying? This person sees the value of having you in their life. And they tired of wasting time because nothing is promised. So why would we let this thing go? We don't know how shit going to turn out, but we need to try. I promise I'm going to do my part. I promise I'll stay true. Don't let nobody say it ain't so. They tired of listening to what other people got to say. And don't let nobody, they telling you, don't let nobody tell you <laughs> that I ain't about the life that I say I'm about. Because I'm about to show you better than I can tell you. Making a promise to you. This is dope. So maybe this is this is the person that you about to be doing this here Shambhala initiation, retreat, vacay, chill, staycation, Netflix to chill or whatever with. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's the, the uh, Shambhala energy but whatever the case y'all i am so proud of y'all being in this flawless energy showing up as the bad asses that you are having done the work to be the example to the um masculine energies and to be standing your your feminine energy and not let society push you to be this rough tough hard working machine when you're meant to be enjoying the soft life you know what I'm saying? Of course, you got to have that balance of masculine and feminine energy. But y'all know what I'm talking about. We're now being able to be more comfortable in our femininity. And I love that for us. So if you're needing a personal reading, feel free to hit me up um, at turquoisemajesty at gmail.com. Don't forget to like the video should something have been said that you liked. I hope my uh, singing didn't scare y'all off too bad. But um, <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. And also I have some love readings um, specials that I posted on the community board. So check that out if you're interested. And with that being said, y'all, until next time. Peace. Oh, bring me back a key charm.